We are all familiar with visible light. Visible light is a type of electromagnetic radiation to which our eyes are sensitive, which is why we can see it. However, visible light is only one part of a much larger spectrum of electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation is characterized by its wavelength, or equivalently its frequency. So for example, blue light has a shorter wavelength than red light. Beyond the blue region of the visible spectrum, to even shorter wavelengths, we find the ultraviolet and X-ray regions. Beyond the red region of the visible spectrum, to longer wavelengths, we find the infrared, microwave, and radio wave regions. For over 100 years, scientists and engineers have harnessed these different types of radiation to produce technologies with societal benefit. For example, X-rays are used for medical imaging, near-infrared radiation is used for fibre optic communications, and microwaves are used in mobile phones. But the terahertz region of the electromagnetic spectrum has not been as well exploited so far. Lying between microwave and infrared, it has proved difficult to develop convenient high power sources of terahertz radiation until relatively recently. Terahertz waves provide interesting opportunities as their unique interaction with matter isn't found in other regions of the spectrum and so could open up a host of new applications of industrial, societal and academic benefit. A large number of materials exhibit characteristic absorption signatures at terahertz frequencies, allowing terahertz radiation to examine and identify these materials. Terahertz radiation can also probe the motion between molecules in a crystal, making terahertz spectroscopy sensitive to crystalline structure. In addition, the ability of terahertz waves to penetrate through many non-metallic materials has important uses in measuring the thicknesses and uniformity of coatings in pharmaceutical and automotive industries. Furthermore, vibrations of large molecules, such as polymers or proteins, are in this frequency range, lending it to chemical and biomedical sensing and imaging. The Hyper Terahertz program is a multi-million pound research project which is funded by the UK's Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. It brings together physicists, material scientists and engineers from the universities of Leeds, Cambridge, Lancaster and University College London. Together and with our project partners who are drawn from industry, academia and national laboratories both here in the UK and overseas to develop new innovative terahertz technologies. Well, the goal of the work is to exploit the relatively unexplored region of the terahertz spectrum and create new instrumentation, not only for fundamental scientific research, but also to address real-world applications. One aim of our research is to develop new imaging systems, including terahertz microscopes. And these instruments will address immediate challenges in industry, for example, the detection of micro-defects in electronic components. But these instruments will also open up new opportunities to study materials with unprecedented frequency precision. Just one example being the study of quantum systems, which could be the basis for the next generation of high-speed computers. Another important aim of our research is to develop high-precision spectroscopy instrumentation, for example for deployment on satellite-based missions to study gases in the upper atmosphere. New technologies such as this will be a crucial tool allowing scientists to improve our understanding of the Earth's climate and to tackle climate change. For further information on the Hyperterahertz programme, please visit our website www.hyperterahertz.org.